When it comes to your posture, is there anything in particular that you see that you're like, this looks off or this feels off, then that's kind of why you want to tackle it? Or is it just like a general idea of like, you know, posture is a good thing, so probably posture? <laughs> um, no, I, I'm really top heavy. So I have a really big chest and I, I've i noticed throughout the years anyways, when I was 16, it started when I was 16 that my shoulders tend to fall forward. Mm. Um, and this is just, how I naturally am and I don't realize it until I catch myself in the mirror and I'm like oh my gosh like that looks horrendous and then I try to bring it back up but then obviously it's not something that falls in my head until someone's like or even my boyfriend he'll be like babe you need to fix your posture and I'm like Fuck, okay so then I would have to straighten back up but I've just noticed that it kind of affects my work as well um when I'm like lifting heavy dogs right I this is something that I want to get a hold of now just because if I don't I know it's gonna hinder me being successful in my career um and on top of that like just overall I want to be healthy and I feel like posture is a big part of it just the way I walk as well and there's a lot of sports that I want to be able to do um but I find that I've been putting it off because I'm just so top heavy and it's a lot on my body to do certain sports when I was younger and I think that now that I'm older I'm like I shouldn't let my posture really affect me wanting to do what I want to do and so I just want to correct it to be able to feel healthier but as well as do what I just want to do in general and not let it hold me back okay all right cool that makes a lot of sense and definitely a challenge uh, for a lot of women in your particular position because as you mentioned like it, that way can just drag your shoulders forward and it causes you to alter how you stand and hold yourself which then cascades into a series of effects of like how your body functions and how you feel and a lot of people don't even realize that there is a pretty significant connection between how you hold yourself posturally speaking and your state of mind it's one of those things where like the physical effects of mental the mental effects of physical there's a harmonious link between the two and yeah. a lot of the times if someone's feeling like a little off on a regular basis altering their physical posture can have a significant improvement on their yeah. actual mental state so uh it's one of those things where you do one to help lead the other and then the other one helps perpetuate the entire process which then causes usually a, a, a bit of an ease in how hard it is to pull off the posture thing and it's just sort of like a, a, a feedback loop uh that yeah. have, they each benefit each other so yeah uh but they can also each detriment each other if you let it kind of cascade and keep going like that so you know good instincts on like trying to kind of hit it off as early as possible and do what you can yeah. to like you know improve I've strength there now and, and and just help get yourself in a position where structurally you're at your best yeah but even like i'd get comments from people too actually like i've gotten a like a couple comments from just strangers telling me like like if i was to go to i remember this one time i went to like the club or something and a man approached me and he was just like you know you look really insecure and that you're not confident and i was like what and he was just like just the way that you're standing like your shoulders are over and just your arm placements like you seem really closed off and like you're just not confident in yourself mind you i'm like younger and i was like why is a man saying this to me why is a stranger telling me this but i think it's it does take into effect where i find that on my confident days i'm like okay i'll bring my shoulders back and i walk differently but then another day is like i can see why some people think that i'm closed off and just to myself and like I guess not confident with myself. A good question I should ask at this particular point in time is do you experience any significant back pain, upper back pain at all? I think I did in the beginning, but now I'm very used to it, if that makes sense. And I only find that it's a problem when, like I said, like if I'm doing a certain lift at work or at school, um, because they're very, like, I, I think I really. Um, tore my back a couple of weeks ago when I was in school and they had us um, restrain a sheep and the way that I had to do it was I had to lift the sheep up and my teacher was like it's okay like just pretend like you're deadlifting and in my head I was like I a sheep weighs like 300 400 pounds I don't know how to deadlift 300 and 400 pounds so I was like okay I'll give it a go and as soon as I lifted it like the class went silent because they heard my back crack oh, and my okay. teacher was just like oh my gosh are you okay like is your back fine and obviously I'm a student there and I was like yeah no I'm fine I'm good and I held it and then that whole week it really affected my lower back so 
but when it comes to like the the upper back and the shoulders that comes occasionally depending on the type of bra that i wear or the type of clothes that i wear you know like if it's um like a, a strap um just like a regular bra wired with straps then i notice i do have indents in my shoulders and that within like the first three to four hours i do notice my shoulder pains mm. um but if i wear like a sports bra where it's more support um and it's not wired and the bands are thicker um i'm not as aware of it hurting my back if that makes sense okay all right and would you say the pain is mostly like towards there is yeah. where you're usually experiencing it okay okay mm -hmm. that makes sense uh, do you find that like it's mostly caused by like pressure from the bra into that particular area or is it sort of just like the entire muscle feels kind of sore uh and it's just because of like, all the weight being placed on it which would you say most closely matches which what you're experiencing i think the muscle happens like once every other week but mainly it's just the bra straps and um like how much weight is being put on those straps because my chest is i'm very top heavy okay all right yeah. cool excellent all right so uh this will inform very significantly the upper body the structure of the upper body workouts um like you mentioned it's something you don't really enjoy doing <laughs> so much in the first place so what would make the most sense would be to make sure that what is there for upper body is as focused, targeted, meaningful, and impactful as humanly possible. So that mm -hmm. uh, the basic idea I'm looking for is that it's impactful enough that like after even the first time you do it, you feel where it's working. You kind of get an understanding, like your body kind of understands, oh, this is are the muscles that are activating and this is what's kind of happening, mm -hmm. causing you to feel what the benefit will be. Like, oh, these are the muscles that will be getting stronger, okay. All right, I and kind of un letting yourself understand the benefit that will come from them developing and getting stronger, which will hopefully yeah. create sort of a sense of motivation because you're like, oh, I already know this is what the, this is going to work because this is what it's working out. And I already feel them kind of getting stronger. Like, this is a good thing. I know where I'm going and like giving yourself a sort of a sense of biofeedback, like your body will be kind of telling you what's going on a little bit, which kind of cements the entire concept. It's one thing to be told something. It's another thing to feel the thing itself. Right. Um, yeah. Two, of course. I'm very much about making sure that everyone I work with is as empowered as they want to slash need to be. So like, I want to make sure that you understand what's going on with the program as much as, or as close to you can, as my understanding is of what's happening mm -hmm. in the program so that you and I are both on the same page in terms of why something is happening and why it's happening as many times or like why it's happening in that particular way or why it's important so that when you look at the program, you don't just see a bunch of stuff, you see purpose, you know? I want you to look at a program and see purpose, not just a bunch of words and exercises right and that that again another area where we can create motivation because you're not looking at it as just like another box to tick another thing to do another task on mm -hmm. your list it's like oh this helps this and this helps that and this does this and this does that and these are all going to contribute to where i'm looking to go it looks like a road map instead of just some chart you know what i mean yeah. um so yeah uh that's kind of what i'm looking to create here so um